if you don't believe that the things you're putting on your body are not absorbing into your skin, into your blood, this is the video for you. Hey everybody, it's Lisa, owner of Peaches Skincare. You can visit us at peachesskincare.com where you will learn about my skincare products that are game changers and healthy for your body and your skin. Uh, you can also visit us on our new Facebook group of amazing peaches that will be there for you and share their stories and Instagram and TikTok. And you can email me personally with love at lisa at peachesskincare.com. I will help you and it is never too late and it is never too early to take care of your skin. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And to all of my peaches, thank you for being here and know that your comments below, I read every single one of them and you are encouraging thousands and thousands of people. So keep sharing your stories and your testimonials and even sending me your before and afters. Uh, and if you're new, like and subscribe. And this channel is about being kind. So be kind with love and kindness. You can ask anything below and I will answer it. And if I'm not for you, just move on and that's okay. I am 58 and a half years old. I have been a holistic master esthetician for almost 40 years. I have practical knowledge of taking care of skin and I have helped hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of thousands of clients. What I teach you is based on that. I use no needles, procedures, or pills. And I don't just teach you about skin based on my own skin or because it's something I read in an article and I just love talking about skin. This is my actual gift and I want to share it with all of you. Um, today we are going to talk about uh, forever chemicals. I started YouTube um, during the pandemic about four years ago and I was so shocked at when I would comment kindly on say a chemist's YouTube or another esthetician's YouTube or just the misinformation I was seeing um, if I even commented about foundation and concealer and how damaging it is for your skin, how many people would say to me, it doesn't get into your bloodstream or um, it protects your skin. That is just not true. And there are articles and there are things coming out now showing that many of those forever chemicals actually absorb into the skin and into the blood at a faster rate than we had ever thought possible. And isn't that how things typically are? We find out, um, if you ever watched the show Mad Men, I was shocked at how they portrayed women smoking when they were pregnant or smoking when they were breastfeeding or smoking in the baby's room. We have to be wise and smart enough to understand that things they tell us now may not be true later. And one of those things is Botox. This is not a video on Botox. I've already done a few, but to think that that is not harming your body in some way is naive. And yet if you do it, don't get angry with me. Just listen and open your heart to what I teach you. You don't need to do it. I can teach you how to take care of those 42 muscles in your face and 43 with your neck without stopping them from working, which inevitably will create jowls and wrinkling and dropped faces but it's really about putting something into your skin that you think is not harming your body later or little by little each time you use it. Foundation and concealer, uh, different lip colors, nail polishes. I was in the nail salon recently and I watched a pregnant woman having um, false nails put on and forgive me, a lot of you will know what I'm talking about, but they put that color on that stays the smell was so intense I had to ask my nail girl if I could move and to be very honest I'm thinking of not getting my nails even buffed anymore. I go and get a pedicure and a manicure because the smell and the toxicity is so high I don't want to breathe that in and we're naive to think that is not affecting us and if I wasn't a kind person and someone that was a little shy I might have said to her honey you're pregnant and if you think that's not getting into your nail bed and then into your skin and your bloodstream it's crazy to think that. And now to the people who are going to get mad at me for saying that or be negative. When you put a hormonal patch on your body, what does it do? It gets into your skin. It gets into your body to create a hormone because maybe you're going through menopause. If you are someone who is trying to quit smoking and you put on a nicotine patch, what is that doing? 
It is absorbing into your skin and creating a place so that you can get rid of that um, toxicity. Well, the patch has to some toxicity, but it, so that you don't smoke anymore and you're not taking that into your body. So you're trying to wear a patch and where does it go? Into your body. We have to be more aware of the things we're putting on. I have so many sunscreen videos. If you are using chemical sunscreen, the studies out there are, you know, showing that most sunscreens actually create a place for toxicity in your body. They are hormone disruptors and they are causing cancer. So be mindful of these things. Use products that are healthy for your skin. Yes, peaches. And when someone inevitably will email me and say, but you use phenexethanol, I use such a tiny amount to balance the skin and act as a preservative so that fungus and bacteria won't grow that it never even gets into your body. It never gets to you because it is such a tiny amount in a vat. And so when they talk about these clean lists, we're actually on three of them and I never talk about it because so many of the ingredients and the products that they list, there's uh, fallacies about them because they don't always include all the ingredients they use. They don't say why they use it. They don't say the amount of how much they use. And so many of these clean lists are not as accurate as I wish they would be. Now, maybe that's changed since this video comes out, but that's what I see in the ingredients and the products that I see on the shelf. You know, they could say a product is, uh, clean, which is a marketing term, and it really absolutely is a marketing term that is just set forth by social media, the beauty industry, marketing, and many of these cosmetic companies. But then they put one little color in it or a little bit of fragrance, and that changes, changes the whole balance of the product. And it creates a space for things that are not healthy for your body. So deodorants, I just did a whole video, toothpaste, uh, dental floss. Look at the things that I'm recommending and know that I'm doing my due diligence and I'm trying to keep you healthy and clean and stop the foundation and concealer. It is harming your skin. It is harming your body. It is not a protective layer in any way, shape or form. And if you look at your neck and your neck looks healthy, but your face is breaking out and you're having issues, that is why. And I can help you to heal your skin and have healthy, beautiful skin. So I know this was a short video, but I really want you to understand what you're putting on your body and in your body. Perfumes, fragrances. And when people ask if I've done a video on something, hit the Peaches Skincare title here, and it will take you to a list of shorts, videos, hit the videos, and you're going to see over 200 choices that you can watch. I hope that I have encouraged you. You can email me at lisa at peachesskincare.com. And um, one of the articles that's most recent is in The Guardian. You can look at that. Uh, my daughter always says, don't Google things because most of it's inaccurate, but you can look up certain studies. And I hope that you can open your heart and mind to what I teach. And I hope I've helped you to uncover your true confidence.